Hey Cherry Bears! Today, I have Brielle with me and I'm going to be feeding her on the potty and she's going to be getting some of her favorite vegetables for dinner on her potty. Just like I fed, it's kind of similar to like the feeding I did with Zuri on the potty, but it's with Bria on the potty because she loves to eat, especially her favorite vegetables. So, and for the some of you um who don't know what she's called, she's called the Baby Alive Breakfast Time Doll. I'm afraid she's not available in a lot of stores, but you can try looking on eBay if they're available right there. So, let's get this started and I'm gonna go make her food, which you're gonna see me do. All right, guys, so now that I have a variety of feeding utensils, I'm gonna start with the food first. Here's the peas, and I'm gonna pour them in here. And now I'm gonna go get the formula. Okay, so I'm gonna put the formula in. Perfect, wait a little more. All right, and now I'm just gonna mix that a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. There, oops. Now, I'm gonna mix it just a little bit. It's very beautiful right now. Just gonna keep doing that and adding formula. So now that I'm done mixing it, I'm gonna add it in the mixer just so that way it gets like to a good consistency just in case she gets clogged and I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna pour it right in here. Most of it since she's not gonna eat it all. I just like to make enough to keep my babies full and happy. Okay, and now I'm going to start the mixer. Kinda got a little bit all over it, it's okay. All right, now that it's doing its thing, you can see that it's mixing it up in a soft, smooth texture. Okay guys, so it is done mixing. So now I'm going to get a bowl. Actually, why don't I use this since it's already messy? So I'm gonna put it back in here. And I'm going to pour it. Look at that consistency, guys. That's beautiful. Now I'm just gonna scoop the rest out and make her juice. Now let me get her bottle. Oops, has a little bit of peas on it. She only takes at least four ounces. Let me see if it clears As up. As you guys can see, she only takes like four ounces. It's filled up to right here. So, I'm just gonna open up her bottle and put the formula right in. Okay, so and then I'm gonna close it up and shake it. Just make sure to shake it up really good if you're following this recipe. Just gonna make sure there's no clumps or anything. 
All right, it should be good now. There we go, looks just like milk. All right guys, well, as you can see, this was a huge mess for the food and some for the drink too. But now I'm gonna go let Briella know that her food is ready. Hey Briella, you ready to eat some peas? Yeah, I love peas. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so now I have Briella on the potty and I have her food ready. So now I'm just gonna allow her to pick a bib that she wants to wear while she's eating and then she's gonna start enjoying her peas. All right, Briella, which bib do you wanna wear? Purple or yellow? Hmm, I think I wanna wear yellow. It's my favorite color. Okay, yellow it is. Reminds me of how joyful you are. Yeah, because yellow means happy. Mm-hmm, reminds me of your little joyful spirit. All right, so I'm gonna start the peas first. Let's see if she likes them. Mmm, does that taste good? Yeah, my mouth is a bit messy though. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you something to drink after. Ooh, big spoonfuls. My goodness. This is a really big spoonful for you, Briella. So now I'm going to feed her some milk. There we go. She's really enjoying herself, guys. She really loves to drink milk before going to bed. Some nice and warm milk. <laughs> Got her food all over it. <laughs> now I'm going to feed her some water. Just rinse all that down. There we go. I can hear her tinkling in the potty. Doing such a great job, Briella. Yummy yum. Guys, doesn't she look like she's like throwing up slime? That looks so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go wipe her mouth now. much guys I'm so proud of her for finishing a lot of it and she can always let me know when she's full she might finish a lot of it like well, maybe all of it since she like eats a lot but I am perfectly fine with that So Briella is done with her food and most of her water. So now she's just helping me feed her the milk. I'm just gonna give her a little bit of that. I'm probably gonna put it in the bottle that I put water in. So that way she can finish at least some of it. 
Then I'm going to feed her some more water, get her all changed, and she's going to bed. Okay, so she's, I think she's full of her bottle at the moment, so I'm just going to wipe her mouth. Got all that green icky stuff inside and outside. So let's clean a little bit of that. And I'm going to check how she did on the toilet. First, I'm going to get her bib off. And as always, soaked and wet shirt, but it's okay. Let me get her off. And <gasps> she did so good. I'm so proud of you, Brielle. All right, she did very well. And I'm gonna clean it. Here, I'm gonna go wipe her bottom real quick. Sweetie, look how you did. I did so good. Yes, you did really good. I'm gonna go feed her some water so that way you can get all the icky green stuff out. So I'm just gonna feed her now. Right over the toilet. Oh, it's leaking already too. Perfect, all done. Whoa, she leaked a lot. <laughs> oh my God, it's under the toilet. Sweetie, I think we might have to give you a bath or something, or at least we'll see her out, because this ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I feel really icky. All right guys, so I'm just gonna get her all washed up and then we're gonna come back in a minute. All right guys, she is all washed up. Finally, no icky food anymore. And I cleaned out her compartment too. And here's proof to see. I cleaned out all the stuff in her compartment. And now I'm going to go to change her in the changing section. And then I'm gonna get her all dressed up for tonight. I've already cleaned the rest of the stuff, so it makes less work for me. Let me just fold this cover up and I'm gonna go wash it. All right guys, I have her in the changing section laying on a changing pad. So I have her PJs and diaper. So I'm just gonna slowly pull her little undies and I'm gonna change her now. All right, guys, and now she's all changed. You know what time it is, kid. Bedtime. Huh? I don't want to sleep. I understand you don't want to sleep, but it's good to sleep because you're going to be tired tomorrow. And you won't be able to have fun on the weekends if you keep doing this. Like staying up. Okay, I'll go to sleep. All right, that's the spirit. Now let's go. I'll sing you a lullaby. I promise. Okay. Or do you want me to read you a bedtime story? Mm, both. You have to pick one, sweetie. I don't really want to do both. Oh, uh, okay, bedtime story. All right, bedtime story it is. Let's okay, go. Brio. Now that you're all laid down, I'm gonna get your comfy little flower cover. Here, let me let you lay on it. And you get to pick a bedtime story from all the three books that I've chosen. Okay, guys, she's all snuggly. So, I'm gonna make her pick a book. The first one is The Loudest, Fastest, Best Drummer in Kansas. The second one is 101 Dalmatians, one of my favorites when I was little. And the last one is Orange Princess Has a Ball. So, which one do you want? Drummer in Kansas, 101 Dalmatians, or Orange Princess Has a Ball. One, two, or three. Do Orange Princess Has a Ball. Orange Princess Has a Ball it is. Let's open it up. And listen carefully, because this could be very interesting. Orange Princess Has a Ball. has 10 chapters. Wow, that's a lot. Let's read the first one. Want to read with me? Yeah. Okay. Christina Kim, 
climbed down the steps of the school bus. Grandma Sue was waiting by the front door of their house, just like she did every day. Christina raced down the walk. She waved a piece of orange paper in her hand. Grandma Sue! Grandma Sue! Look! She cried. Peter, her younger brother, ran past her. He gave Grandma Sue a big hug. Then he turned and stuck his tongue out at Christina. Ha! I beat you, he said. Peter, be nice to your big sister, Grandma Sue said.